So a lot of you have been asking to see the inside of our coop. Uh, we've had it almost a year now and I've made some changes and improvements. We also built the um, run that you can see right there attached to it. But let's um, let's take a tour of, of my coop. I'm just kind of ad, ad lib it and go through some of the things that I've done um, over the winter and this so far this summer. So here we go. Shoot, I don't know how to rechange it now to the other way. Okay, hang on. So here is our coop. We've had a lot of um, requests to see the inside. I've made some improvements and changes in the uh, almost year that we've had it. We did build this attached run to the side last fall. Um, but let's go inside the coop and I'll show you some of the changes I've made. I did plant some herbs in the window boxes. I planted mint and thyme which are both, uh, they look nice, they smell nice, they can help keep flies out. And so here is the coop. It's, um, it's eight by 10 and I had part of it about, I don't know, maybe a quarter or a third blocked off as a storage area, which I'm really happy with. In the winter, I put clear plastic up over the uh, wire to keep more of the heat in the coop side and um, you know, kind of insulate it and cut down on the dead air space, which worked really great. The only thing I would change, this door opens out into the coop. I would have it open in because in the winter when I have a deep layer of straw, it's kind of dicey to get the door open. But anyway, so here is the storage area. Um, the coop I chose comes with nine nesting boxes. And as you know, chickens all use the same one. So I asked them instead to install three of the nine nesting boxes here in the storage area to use for storage, which has worked out great. So this is my, my first aid kit and a bunch of junk <laughs> piled up. And then um, some treats and supplements, dried herbs, mealworms, just, you know, stuff, chicken stuff. And then down below here, I did this myself, but it was so easy to do. I just made a hinged door I made a wooden frame. I actually used a free pallet. I made a, a hinged door. So I made a nursery under here. And this is where Annie and the Littles are right now. So they have a little roost and they have their water and some food and some straw. And um, they, after they hatched, I moved them all into here. And as you can see, they can see everybody else. And they still sleep in here at night. They hang out with everyone in the run, but at night they sleep in here just, you know, so I know they're safe and all that. So once they are grown and part of the, the uh, big girl flock, I can still use the space underneath for storage, feed bags or straw or whatever. So here's my, um, I actually have some Dukashi Coop uh, odor eliminator in one bucket and um, probiotics in the other bucket. But so this is my feed. I mix it up a um, bag or two at a time add in some supplements and then dole it out every day using my big bucket. I have straw for storage. All the windows, um, they have a half inch welded wire over the screens. The windows are completely functional so they open and shut. I added these cute little, if you can see them, rooster brackets that I found on eBay for like six dollars a piece um, which make the windows really cute. So that is the storage area. So then into the main coop, um, we have the roosts. Now I'm sure you're wondering about the wallpaper. I get a lot of flack for the wallpaper. It's actually um, shelf liner. It's vinyl shelf liner that I just stuck on the walls. I got it on Amazon. I'll put the link on the video. It is super easy to clean. You can just wipe it with a damp sponge. Um, you know, if it gets dusty or if it gets poop on it, super, super easy to clean. I also painted the roosts and some of the exposed wood, same deal, really easy to clean. Um, these were painted, oh, I don't know, a couple months ago now, um, you know, and I can either scrub them with a damp sponge or I can just repaint when, you know, they get kind of poopy or whatever. Um, then I have some baskets hanging up. I also have a mirror. A mirror is a great boredom buster, especially in the winter. The chickens actually do look at it. They look at themselves in the mirror. So we have ducks too. The ducks sleep in these wooden crates under the roosts so they don't get pooped on. Um, 
but they like their wooden crates and they actually made a nest in that corner and also in this corner and some of the chickens like to use the duck nests to lay their eggs in which is fine I have some herbs hanging I always have herbs hanging in the coop I've got lavender and yarrow now lavender is good at um, calming and repelling flies and yarrow is good for respiratory health the chickens eat them um, they dry up they look pretty whatever I've got them they're free it's easy this looks out into our run the run is about uh, I think it's about 16 by 40 or something like that completely enclosed covered here are our nesting boxes. I did add curtains. Um, like I mentioned, the coop came with nine, which was way too many. I think the chickens have only ever used two at the same time. But, um, you know, you can be as fancy or as plain as you want with the curtains. These I just um, nailed up. I just cut them and nailed them up. They're mostly in the winter. I think they're more beneficial because they do keep the boxes a little bit warmer. Um, they also can hide eggs that have been laid from the other hens, so there's less chance of egg eating. They also make the boxes a little more private, so if you're trying to get a, a chicken to go broody and sit on eggs, I find that she's more likely to if you have curtains up. Um, I usually make real curtains like on a rod and I tie them back with tie backs and I've actually had broody hens pull the tie backs closed to, to um, close the curtains over the boxes when they're in there, which is pretty funny. I do also have boxes up here for them to lay their eggs in, especially in the summer where it's so hot, they do like to sit in the open air boxes instead sometimes to lay their eggs. I have a little shell dispenser. Um, on the blog is a tutorial about how I made my little eggshell dispenser, which needs to be filled. It also needs to be repainted. And I have one for grit over here by the door, although I don't actually give them grit because they go outside and eat dirt and rocks. So I've got a flashlight. Um, every coop needs a flashlight, you know, in case you hear a commotion at night, you run down. I don't have to remember the flashlight, so it's here. Um, I did get the electrical package in this coop. So it has a light switch. Um, there's a light up there. We haven't run electric to the coop yet. Um, I never planned on heating the coop. That wasn't the point for the electric. Mostly it was um, for a light if I did need to come down here when it was dark or more importantly to plug in an electric dog water bowl which is what I use in the winter to keep the water from freezing. It's really handy to just plug in an electric bowl and have that for the the water so that was the point for the electricity but we haven't got that hooked up yet so there's my coop um i do have a thermometer in here and it, it's warm so you can see it's almost 100 even here in maine today but there's there's four windows there's a good cross breeze everybody's out free ranging right now except for that little lady um so the, the coop, by the time they go to bed, it has cooled down considerably. And that goes, the little pop door goes right out into their, their run, which I'm still, I'm working on landscaping it. I've got some roses, some lilac, and some butterfly bushes. Oh, and some uh, juniper. So hopefully by next summer, the run will be nicely landscaped. So that's our coop. It was from Horizon Structures. It's called the Fresh Eggs Coop. They actually, um, I helped them design this style. It was a garden shed, and they've decided now to sell them. Um, so anyway, that's our coop. Eight by ten. I have, well, we have nine chickens, two teenagers, seven littles in it right now but some of the roosters will be finding new homes so we'll probably end up with about a dozen chickens in it and uh nine ducks so that's our coop i hope you enjoyed the little tour we love it like i said the only thing i would have done differently is have the storage area door open in and i probably i, I could probably take it off its hinges and rehinge it so it opened in and I've got a shade cloth up over the run to give them a little more shade. They do have a plywood overhang over part of the run, but I like to give them a little bit more shade in the summer. And they're all, I don't know, they're all under the trees, somewhat staying cool. So that was a tour of our coop. Um, a little decoration goes a long way. 
The main thing is that the coop is really functional and safe from predators, but cute never hurts. Hope you enjoyed the tour of our coop.